Hello, hello, and welcome to Ark Survival Evolved on Ragnarok. Now, I knew somebody was going to pick this name eventually. And, uh, yeah. So we have, we have a name suggestion for our Tickle Chicken. Except for, I can't seem to get close enough to name it. There we go. So options change. No, not that. Options change name, and the name suggestion by Vaughn is "Tickle Me Elmo." I'm so used to using his gamer tag, I forgot to uh, notice that. The comment he used for his YouTube account is actually Steven. But it is, it is Vaughn. And he has suggested Tickle Me Elmo. And I knew somebody was going to pick this eventually for these guys. But alright, with that finished, since it is a fear evolved, I'm thinking, you know, maybe we should go for some Halloween colored dinos. With that said, let's get on with today's episode, shall we? Alrighty. So as most of you probably know, Fear Evolved has started. And, uh... I, I want to tame some, some Halloween-based dinos. Uh, real quick though, I put a little few additions onto our Tickle Chicken Pen. Mostly railings and benches around the outside. A little bit of light on the inside so we can see what's going on. And when we finally get around to breeding those guys, I think it'll be great. Now, if you excuse me, there's a candy corn over here. If I'm lucky, it'll have dino bones in it. Uh, prime fish, prime meat, costumes, and berries. I'll take it. I can cook that prime meat. That way when I uh, breed stuff, if they happen to need prime fish meat, I'll have it. As always, I'll put my uh, spoiled meat in the last slot just in case a pego tries to uh, yoink my stuff. We'll cook this up real quick. And uh, I, I think we'll get started with the uh, taming. Now, I'm not exactly sure what I want to go after. I mean, there's there's so many options. You know, raptors, dire wolves, griffins, there's rexes, alleys, you know, just tons and tons of dinos out there. So, I'm assuming... I'll just take whatever I can find. You know, nothing specific. We're just looking for neat colors, we're not looking for high levels, we're not looking for, you know, boss fight level dinos make this guy skeleton. You know, just just looking for some cool stuff. So I guess we'll see what we find. Ideally, yeah, I probably would like a few wolves. You know, just to mix in some new blood into my wolf line. I mean, you guys seen on the island, I have a lot of wolves. I, I could use some some fresh blood. Maybe I'll go after a Baryonyx. I mean, Baryonyxes are really good for the caves. We've already got raptors. So, I mean... What can we go after? Where are my drink darts? There they are. Grab me a few stacks of these. Grab me some narcotic. Good enough. Let's go see what we can find. This is kind of spur of the moment. I don't exactly have a game plan. So I guess I'll head over to those cliffs. That away. There's usually a few things over here. Alleys, raptors, terror birds, uh, gallimimuses. Just see what we can find. I 
Edgeborn and Rex will get rid of that. What is going on over here? Is that a griffin? It is definitely... Oh, it's two griffins. Hold on here. Let me help you guys kill this stego. Alright. You're level 135 and 90. Ooh, you're nice coloring. Alright. Let's get this started. I've never tamed a griffin before, so this is going to be interesting. We'll get rid of the Carno and the weaker griffin. That should make my job a little easier. I like this. It's just going in a circle. Round and around and around he goes. It's also starting to get dark, so it's kind of hard to see. And this guy takes a lot of darts. Oh, he's running. I'm sorry it's so dark. Like, even I can barely see. I think I'm going to end up losing him. We'll give it an honest try, though, but I think I'm going to lose him. Maybe I should get a glow pet. I mean, Vaughn has his bulb dog. Perhaps I need one. Got a whole bunch on the uh, aberration map. I could probably go and snag one or two. I think I've lost a griffin. Oh, nope, there he is. he can. Yeah, um... So, he came back with the RG. I ended up finding him. And apparently I got out of his render zone before his deport really dropped. So I flew over here with the bird, jumped off the bird, shot him once, and then he fell down. I I've seen that happen before on my buddy's map when they're hunting down like spinos and stuff. Didn't know it was going to happen to me. Alrighty. Maybe some not just to be safe. Gorgeous Griffin. Gorgeous Griffin. I don't think there's anything around here that'll eat him. So let's give him a stat check, shall we? Alright, so we are looking at... 45, 12 into health, that's not bad. 483 on the Stanima. 510 on the Oxygen, that kind of sucks. 5760 on the Food. 375 on the Weight. 195 on the Melee. And according to Dodo Dex, this particular Griffin is high in health and food. And pretty good on Stanima. Weight and Melee are a little low, but you know, I'll take what I can get. Never had a Griffin before. So, I mean. 
I don't know if this is really, really good or not. But I'll definitely take it. He should wake up soon. Ah, there we go. Now, can he keep up with an RG? Let's find out. Okay, so he seems a little faster on the normal fly. Let's do a quick, quick fly. See if he keeps up all the way back. All right, so we have a Griffin, and as always, it's up to you guys to suggest a name for him. There's still quite a few dinos that need a name. So, you know, the more names you guys suggest, the more dinos get names. There's still some dinos back on Valgaro who are nameless that we can always go back and name because we will eventually be returning to Valgaro. There's some dinos on the island and on uh, Scorched Earth I think are nameless as well. So, I mean... There is no lack of dinos that need names for you guys not to suggest any. Because my names are terrible. I mean, just look at the birds. Pretty bad. Alright, so did that griffin keep up? Yes, he did. Wow. Now, I don't know if you can breed these guys or not. I think I read somewhere that you both can and can't, depending on which version you're on. I think Mobile has Royal Griffins, or maybe that's the Switch. I can't remember which one, but one of them has Royal Griffins, and one of them has Normal Griffins, and... One of them, apparently, you can breed. I'll have to look into that, because I really, really don't know. And if we can bring Griffins, that'd be cool. Look at him. Look how nice he looks. Turn that thing off. All right. So we got Vaughn with us, and uh, again, we're just going to do some general random taming. We'll see what we come across, and... Maybe we'll find something good. I'm kind of keeping an eye on all these flying dinos, because hey, maybe we'll find a good Tappy Jara. Who knows? Also, if there's particular dinos that you guys want to see me collect, and then, you know, hey, let me know. I'll see what I can find. We're on Ragnarok, so there's there's lots of options as far as dinos go. What's going on over here? Looks like we got a couple of wolves fighting an RG. And one of them looks pretty neat. Alright. Let's get rid of these birds. And then we'll cherry pick the, uh, the neat wolf. Come on. Got him. All mine. I need to... Where can I put you? You're only level 15. That's... That's fine. You have neat colors, so we'll take you. Where can I put you where you won't wander back over with your buddy? How about over here? Ah. 
I, I'm gonna need to rearrange positioning here so you stop biting me. I think if you grab a wolf by the backside, he can't attack you. Nope, he can still get me. Alright, you know what, we'll put you back over here. Look at those colorings. Black with a nice, nice dark purple on the top. Almost a, almost a reddish color purple. Very nice wolf. I suppose I could probably try to breed his coloring into my wolf line, but... I'll just hold on to him for the novelty. I mean, he looks cool. He should wake up. There we go. Into the pot with you. There'll be more taming to be done. Let's see, what to go after next? Oops, I missed Bond. Try that again, shall we? There we go. So me and Vaughn were talking, and a polymer farm would be awesome. Now to set up a polymer farm, we're going to need a couple of male and female penguins. Then we kind of set them up on a ramp, and we let them roll down into like a Demetrodon or an A-seed unit area. That's not a bad bird. And, uh... Basically, we put something unaggressive to eat the, the baby penguins, and it'll just sit there and more or less passively collect organic polymer for us. So we're going to do some looking around at these penguins. A level doesn't really matter, so I'm mainly looking at color. And, of course, gender. I'm going to need at least two males to two females, that way they're constantly spitting eggs out. Hmm. Not a very wide selection of unique penguin colors today, are there? Also, what do penguins take for kibble? I should check that real quick. Dodo decks, my friend. Alright, penguin. What are these things called again? Right. So, these guys take basic kibble. I just happen to have plenty of that. Mainly because of all the dodo eggs from Valgiro. You're a pretty basic looking penguin. So are you. Hmm. Red one, maybe. Let's see, what do we got over here? So after much looking around, I have decided on a penguin. I just needed to come out of the water. There it is, I think. Is that the one? Yeah, that's him. Penguin buddy. Where'd you go? There he is. Another quick shot, another quick shot. There we go. Penguin down. Penguins won't drown, will they? Ooh, they don't have an air stat. You are perfectly fine in the water. So I was looking around at more penguins, and then our one penguin buddy woke up, but he's still in the water. So... I don't think a pod will work. I'm gonna see if I can kind of force him up on land here. That is not the way I wanted you to go, buddy. 
What are you? You're a boring penguin. Back to my penguin. Go on to land. There we are. Alright, go pod you and go find another penguin. Nice red one. Night night. This one's female. I've been looking around at the penguins and not a whole lot of interesting has been spawning. I think once this penguin wakes up, I'm going to try to find the other spot where there's a whole bunch of penguins at. I know it's around this area somewhere. I think it's over that way. I'm not entirely sure. Hey, penguins awake. Look at him run. Nice red penguin. All right. So let's take a quick peek around and see what we can find. Not seeing any over here. Definitely none down there. Here, penguin, penguin. Not seeing much of anything around this spot. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to try to find that other spot here. A couple of scorpions. Um, is that one right there? Oh, it's a boring one. Make pretty ones spawn. Hey, there's one. Are you a neat color? Nope, you're fairly boring as well. Any in the water? Nope. Alright, uh, where's that one spot at? I think it's this way. It's not down there. Maybe it's in there. I know there's more penguins around here somewhere. Well, this won't boot me off my bird, will it? Looking like it. Okay. Penguins! And the cat. We'll get rid of the cat. I don't need you eating my penguins. Look at them all. Time for a penguin catching spree. Oh, you went into the water. Wait, are you my penguin? No. There's my penguin across the lake. Ah. These things are quick swimmers. A 
I think I missed. Got you and you and you. And finally, because you will be my last one, you. waiting for this one to wake up. Uh, should be soon. Oh, there he goes. Alright, let's get these guys back to base. Vaughn was saying something about wanting to tame some mantises, so we gotta make some uh, bug repellent for that. Alright, sorry it's so dark again. It took a minute to get back. Uh, on the way back, we got distracted and killed a Ghost Rex. Because Ghost Rex. Let's put our uh, one wolf away, but let's rename this to Halloween Dinos. That doesn't look right. How do you spell Halloween? Google, help. It's A. I always mess that up. I don't know why. All right, so we'll put our one dire wolf in here, and we'll put the penguins over here. That way, they have a chance to wake up and you know recover from cryo sickness. And they'll also be semi-safe in here, so I won't have to, you know, really pay attention to them that well, or that much, really. Get back over here. Boop. 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 And boop. Only two of them are male, in case you guys are wondering. The rest are all female. There's a red one, a slightly palish one. There's a couple of unique colors. Uh, now, I have to sort out inventory here before we head back out so let me go ahead and do that real quick all righty everything sorted I've got pretty good range of uh, visibility here on ghost with the gun now I'm gonna take ghost because Vaughn's gonna take Talon and just kinda pick me up and carry me around But since we need to, you know, see dinos on the ground, once we get about where we're going, he'll he'll put me down and I'll start running around. And also, in case we come across anything scary, I can see pretty good out the sides. Well, the one side. Alright, so, been running around the desert for a bit. I picked up some uh, plant Y seeds, and Vaughn directed me to these guys. I think they're a passive team. I didn't find too many of these seeds, so. Oh no, he's a knockout. Okay. Hopefully, this doesn't kill you, little buddy. Oh. He killed him. 
There's another one over here, I think. Yeah, there it is. It's just a boring, normal one. Sad day. I've been informed that there's a third one. <gasps> Look at him! Alright. Oh, he's nice. Oh, it's a she. Alright, we'll knock out this little guy and we'll give you a seed. Now, you shouldn't take very long to, uh, wake up. Red, purple, not a bad coloring. I like it. little black stripes is a good little Jaboa. I like it. How long do you stay asleep for? Hey! Our buddy woke up. Nice. Mine. been running around for a while and uh, we decided to head back to base because you know it's starting to get late and I came across this guy and I want him I don't know what kind of kibble he takes I'm gonna need to pull that up on the dodo decks jeez I had the dodo that loaded, so it was fine, but he takes green. Yay, moose! Get in the pod. Alright, we really need to get back to base. I won't lie, I've been distracted again. There's a ghost wolf here. And then there's this guy. He's got red feet. He's kind of similar to the one we caught earlier. But red feet. What was that? What the heck attacked me just a second ago? Lovely wolf coloring. Red feet, purple top, black bottom. Good wolf. Now, seriously need to get back to base. One, I am dying up here. Also, two, it's getting really late. So we have a ghost wolf, ghost wolf, ghost rex, Bone Rex. Now we need to put everything away real quick. Put away our new Dire Wolf. And we'll go let out our moose. I'm also carrying around um, Vaughn's Vulture. He forgot to bring Cryobods, so... It's nothing special, it's just a normal Vulture. Put everything away real quick. We tried to kill, um, death worms. It didn't go so well. One, we couldn't really find any. And the one we did find about destroyed me and Ghost, even with Vaughn's help on the bird. So... 
If we're gonna tame mansions, we're definitely gonna have to use uh, rhino horns. I think there's ice death worms somewhere, but I'm kind of afraid they'll murder me. Can that go in the fridge? No. All right, leech blood in the preserving bin. Gotcha. Also, if you guys have made it this far, thank you so, so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And, uh, you know, leave a comment below for, you know, what we should name these guys, what we should uh, go after, a anything you want, really. Uh, with that, I will see you guys in the next one. And thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.